Art is something that's created with imagination and skill. Art displays beauty and expresses emotion. Artists portray their work through sculptures, paintings, drawings, and etc. The interpretation of the term sublime has been debated for centuries in the field of aesthetics. Sublime art exceeds the present as claimed by Stefan Zebk in his book titled Towards an Aesthetics of the Future. Sublime is also defined as having the quality of such greatness and vastness and correlates with art as it has the ability to petrify and trigger a viewer. The idea of sublime was used in a completely different approach by artists early in the 20th century during the era of Romanticism. Artists use sublime to capture abstraction and to provide an experience of transcendence. One artist in particular that dispensed sublime within his artwork was John Martin. First off, who was John Martin? John Martin was born on July 19th in 1789. He was an English romantic painter, engraver, and illustrator. He was commemorated for his expansive and dramatic paintings, which typically had a religious meaning behind them. The Great Day of His Wrath is a thoroughly romantic painting. John Martin created this masterpiece to express sublime. His goal was to imply a prophetic force of nature and the incapability of mankind to battle God's will. As you can see, he created what the end of the world could possibly look like. He used dark colors that stimulate terror and agitation. Of all Martin's artworks, this displays his most catastrophic view of destruction, featuring an entire city being torn up and thrown into the abyss. Moving on to another beautiful creation of John Martin, The Plains of Heaven. Martin created this artwork in 1841, utilizing oil paint. He used a dynamic composition and dramatic lighting in his beautiful display of The Plains of Heaven. This piece of art is also known as The Last Judgment. He divides good and evil by illustrating a deep canyon into which the evil is falling. The far side represents virtue assembling in the plains of heaven. The landscape also symbolizes a vision of natural harmony and salvation. He included numerous poets and artists that educate good and righteousness. They are shown at the peak of the hill in white near the foreground of the picture. Beyond them extends a deep blue lake. Water crashes in the distance adjacent to a majestic mountain scenery. John Martin created a common theme of sublime during the era of Romanticism. He incorporated specific meanings behind each and every one of his paintings. His pattern of using different elements such as contrast and dark tones creates symbolism within his work. It's very fascinating how he dispenses such terror yet satisfaction in his art style. The Roots of Romanticism is a book written by Isaiah Berlin. In his book, Berlin explains how the movement of Romanticism changed the course of history. He surveys the many attempts to define Romanticism and sublimates its essence. He discusses some of the greatest thinkers and artists of the 18th and 19th centuries, and I believe that John Martin fits the criteria of what makes an artist authentic and extraordinary.